and welcome. My name is Megan Ashley and I'm curator here at Hallberg Butterfly Gardens. And today I'm going to talk about finding caterpillars outside and showing you a little of what that looks like here in April this year. Whether you're searching for a school project or you're wanting to promote butterflies in your garden, or if you're just simply curious, Witnessing the caterpillar life cycle up close can be incredibly rewarding and so much fun. And it's hands down my favorite part of the butterfly life cycle. This time of year in early to mid spring when most caterpillars are just beginning to hatch and are super tiny, I will spend more time watching for butterflies to see if I can catch them laying eggs instead of directly looking for caterpillars. Here you can see a female pipevine swallowtail tapping down and tasting with her feet for the right plant and the right place to lay her eggs. This species has one host plant that feeds their caterpillars, the Dutchman's pipevine as seen here. I was keeping my eye on a clutch of eggs for roughly four days since they had been laid and was able to catch them just as they were hatching. Once the caterpillars emerge, they will often eat their eggshell for a nice protein snack. You can see the caterpillar in the middle, happily munching away. Another butterfly I've witnessed laying eggs is California's state insect. It's not the monarch butterfly seen here, it's the California dog face. The California dog face is named after the seemingly dog-like portrait displayed on the forewings of the male butterfly, whereas the females are completely yellow. Here you can see a female laying its eggs on the leaves of its host plant, false indigo. These butterflies will lay a single conical egg or a small clutch on the top of a leaf. I took a closer look around after seeing the butterfly lay her eggs and was able to see one tiny caterpillar on the top of a leaf. Some caterpillars like the dog face and the tiger swallowtail will rest on top of the leaves in early stages, while other caterpillars like to hide underneath. So we've learned some tactics into figuring out where caterpillars are by watching the butterflies. But what are some clues that caterpillars leave so to find the caterpillars themselves, especially when many caterpillars will not lay on the top of the leaf and are often hiding underneath or in places that are harder not only for us to find, but they're predators too. Looking for clues such as chew marks on leaves can be helpful in finding caterpillars. Larger holes in the center of leaves are often made by other insects, while caterpillars tend to chew on the outer edges of leaves as seen here. But with all things in nature, this is not always true. My favorite indicator for finding caterpillars is looking for caterpillar frass, which is a fancy word for poop. Looking for little peppered speckled leaves is a great indication that there's a caterpillar nearby. So look up under the leaf above the caterpillar poop. Lo and behold, above the frass was a caterpillar of the satire comma butterfly, a fast flying butterfly that I have not yet witnessed in the garden, but they have obviously been here laying eggs on their host plant, the stinging nettle. Be careful when looking at this plant because the small spines, as the name suggests, sting like an itchy sunburn. Wearing gloves when looking on these plants is a good idea. Both the satire comma and the red admiral caterpillars host on this plant and leave another fun clue to help find them. The caterpillars will wrap the leaf around them and attach two ends together with silk to protect the caterpillars while they eat. Look for upside down leaf tacos with frass below and you may find a caterpillar inside. A few other butterflies I have observed laying eggs at Hallberg but was unable to catch it on film for this video was the anis swallowtail on fennel, the morning cloak on willow, and the tiger swallowtail on willow and ash. 
For butterflies that lay eggs on trees, it can be easier to find a caterpillar by either A, using the tactic of watching the female butterfly lay eggs and wait for the caterpillars to hatch, or B, look for caterpillars on a young sapling versus a large full-grown tree. This can help increase your chances of success. Baby egg, that's a baby egg. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to visit our website at hallbergbutterflygardens.org to learn more about who we are and what we do here. And I would love to hear comments and questions if you have them. I wish you good health and happy hunting.